Hi, I'm Hal Aronson, co-founder of We Care Solar, and today we're going to build the switch box. And the switch box is a device that brings electricity from the solar suitcase to remote switches, which then will bring additional light to schools, orphanages, and refugee camps. First thing I do when I start a project that involves tools is I put on my safety glasses. We'd really like it if your students wear safety glasses when you do this project. So the order of operations is first we're going to remove the knockouts in this box. Second, we're going to add the cord grips which will hold the cables. Third, we're going to run the cables. This is the power from the solar suitcase to the light switch box. And then these are the two lamp cords which will get powered by the switch. Then we'll wire the negatives of the lamp cord to this terminal block. And then we'll wire the positives from the power in and the two lamp cords to the switch so we can control the lights. And then we'll screw the switch back into the box, put on the cover plate, and we'll light the lights. So we have the electrical box, we have the cord grips, we have the terminal block, we have the switch, we have the cable coming from the solar suitcase to the box, and we have the two lamp cords and finally the cover plate. For tools, you'll need a hammer, a six-in-one screwdriver, a wire strippers, and a pliers. So let's get started. Step one, or actually this is step two in the book, is we're gonna knock out the knockouts. We're only gonna knock out the top and the bottom, not the back knockout. So I'm gonna take something to protect the table, or you can do this on the floor, and have my hammer, and I'm going to do the knocking out with the 6-in-1 screwdriver. I remove the screwdriver tip, so now I've got this blunt tip. I place it against the knockout and I give it one sharp blow. That knocks out that knockout. Then I'm going to turn it over and do the same on the other side. Now I've got both knockouts out. Second step is to put in the cord grips. The cord grips are what hold the cables in place. Now, the first cord grip is going to receive both the power in cable and the lamp cable. So that means it's going to take up a lot of space. So I'm going to take off the cap of the cord grip. Watch the order of operations. I'm going to pull out this little conical shaped bushing. And it's important when you put it back together that the, the cut ends go toward the cord grip and I'm going to thread, I'm going to put the cord grip into the box. So I screw it in, and you want the cord grip to seat tightly into the box. So I can almost do that with my hands, but I'll use the pliers for the last little bit. Be sure you're grabbing the nut on the cord grip and not the threads of the plastic. Let's go ahead and we'll thread the other one in the other side. This one we don't have to take the cap off of because we're only going to put one lamp cord through it. So I get it finger tight and then I finish it with the pliers. So it's seated nice and tight. That way once the wires are in nothing will move. So now I'm going to grab one lamp cord and I'm going to grab this end of the cable. This end of the cable has a long stripped red wire and um, one prepared uh, black wire. I'm going to put those together sheathing together, feed it through the cap first, pass the sheathing, slip the bushing on, this part's a little bit challenging but you'll be able to do it with a little bit of elbow grease, and then I'm going to feed this through the cord grip and into the box. And if you look inside, you'll see that there's a little bit of the jackets on the cable showing. You see that? That's to protect the wire when we clamp down on it. Now I'm going to take this cap and I'm going to twist it closed. And when I twist this closed, what this does is it applies pressure to the cable so that it grips the cable. So I just need to do this hand tight and watch this. You can test it by pulling hard on it. Do you see how the cable doesn't move? 
That means it's a good firm connection. Now I'm going to feed the lamp cord that's remaining through the other side of the box. In this one, I don't have to take apart the cord grip. Pulling it into the box until I see the jacket on this cable. So I've got about an inch of jacket coming in. And now I tighten this cord grip. Again, probably only hand tie is necessary. And I pull in the cord grips, and I know I'm confident when the wires don't move. Now I'm going to bond all the negatives, which are the black wires, together. The way a switch works is it interrupts the positive or the red wires. And so I need to get all three of these uh, stripped ends the proper length for the terminal block. And there's a convenient little strip guide on the terminal block that tells me how much needs to be trimmed off. And what I'll do is I'll trim it off so there's one centimeter of stripped wire there. So on the end of the wire strippers, there's a scissors that actually cuts wire. So it doesn't have to be perfect. So I snip off this much. And you can see I probably got it about perfect. Yeah, pretty good. Trim this one. And then this final black one, I just need to remove the insulation. Because you want to remove the insulation so you get good conductivity. And I can usually do it with my thumbnail. And this one's already stripped to the right length. So you see how all three are approximately stripped about a centimeter. Do not cut the red wires. Those need to stay full length. So then I open the terminal block. It's a full 90 degrees. Don't be afraid of breaking it. If you can break this, I will give you a free switch box kit. Okay? Insert the wires fully. Push it in. Snap it. Give it a tug to make sure it's good. Put in the next negative wire. If they're afraid, go ahead and give it a little twist. Insert it fully. Snap it into place. And finally, we'll put in the third piece. Close it. And you can see that all three are nice and firmly connected. Take the negative wires and push them to the bottom of the box, out of the way. Now we're going to wire the switch. And you'll see that on this switch, we have one side with black screws that are connected by this little brass tab. This is where the power is going to come in on the white cable from the solar suitcase. And then we see this side where there's two brass colored screws and no tab. That's where the wires are going out to the two lamp cords to light up the light bulbs. We always want to wire a switch uh, clockwise so that when we turn the screw, we're tightening the wire onto the screw. Now, here is the white cable with its positive coming in. That's going to go to the power inside of the switch. See how it's nice and long? That's the space so that we can make a crook to go around the screw. All I need to do is take the screwdriver tip as a guide and shape the wire so that it's a good shape to go around the screw. See, I've got that little crook in there, and I'm going to put it on clockwise. So I put it on like this. Now, this tab is going to hold the wire in place when I screw it. So I'm going to hold that with my middle finger, and I'm going to take the bigger um, Phillips tip on my 6-in-1 screwdriver, and I'm going to tighten this down. And this switch is going to be going all the way probably to Sub-Saharan Africa, so you want to make sure it doesn't get loose. So you crank down on this. This is a robust switch until, with your hand strength, you cannot get it any tighter, okay? Have a medium strength student do it, not your strongest student, okay? We don't want a Herculean effort, just a modest human effort. Now, now we're going to do the two screws for the lamp cords coming out. Again, I'll use my screwdriver tip to shape my wire. I'll just do both of them now just to make it easy so I don't have to take it apart again. Do another one. Hold the wire down with my thumb. I just 
last time I used my middle finger. Whatever works for you is good. See how I'm screwing it? I put it on clockwise. So as I turn it, it wants to pull the wire on. Again, see how it's going clockwise around the screw. Hold it with my thumb. Screw it down. And you fire the switch. Two lamp cords going out. Power coming in. Now finally all we have to do is place the switch into the box. See these little screws here? These are what are going to bite into the box and lock the switch in. So I put those onto the holes. Make sure I'm not pinching any wires in the process. Take my screwdriver and screw it on down. Be sure when you're screwing the screws that your screwdriver is really pushing down on the screw so we don't uh, let the screwdriver slip in the screw and damage the, the head. So that's down good and snug. Put the Phillips head in the other one. Screw it down. And now we have the switch wired. And all we have to do is put the bulbs in and hook this up to the solar suitcase and verify that it works. So when we go into the field and actually install the solar suitcase, we're going to wire the switch box kit into the back of the solar suitcase to give it power. So let's, I just want to show you what that looks like and it's also a great way for you to test your switch box to make sure it works. So all you have to do is remove the main control board And here's where we're going to hook up the switch box. The blue are positive, the white are negative. Now in the switch box kit, the red is positive and the black is negative. So go ahead and twist your wires. Go to one of these extra slots in the Waco terminal block and put in your positive wire into this side. Let me just neaten that up. I will insert it. Close that. And then we'll do the same with the negative. So white is the universal negative in electricity. Though in battery technology, black is often used for negative. Now we've wired this in. You can see we have a space for one more switch box. Now I'll turn this back. And I'm going to turn on the main power switch. We'll take the switch and you have a verification that you have a properly wired switch box. Now that it's properly wired, we can add the cover plate. And for that, you will need the slotted tip. So we pull that out of the 6-in-1 screwdriver. And we screw it in. Not too tight, but snug. And your students can sign the back of that with a message to the students that will receive it. And this is good to go. Thank you.